Hello, I have another album to share with you. I created this album for another swap at Mini Album Scraps for the Secret Pal swap, swap for my Secret Pal, Janine, using Bow Bunny's Garden Journal Collection. I use the tutorial from Janine, Janine, I use the tutorial for, from Ginger Rop at My Sister Scrapper. It's her pocket page mini album tutorial. I would say it's about an intermediate, um, probably an intermediate tutorial. It's um, a great little tutorial and I very much enjoyed making this mini. So thank you, Ginger, for the tutorial. Um, so here is the cover of the album. Um, these are some flowers by Petaloo, and um, I added some tiny little stick pins here, and um, a closure by Tim Holtz, and some um, corner pieces by Tim Holtz. Some corrugated cardstock on the spine, and I created a dangle on this album using a um, an eyelet and a binding ring. Um, I just wrapped the binder ring with some seam binding then attached a Tim Holtz clasp and some beads I created with some charms from um, Bohemian Findings on Etsy. So you may want to check out their little shop. Um, it's a great little store on Etsy where I get my charms. Um, so you open the closure like so with an elastic. And here's the inside of the book. This is the inside cover. These beautiful little butterflies are by Renee's Bouquets on Etsy. I believe you spell it R-E-N-A-E -E or R-E-N-A-E-S Bouquets. Uh, Renee's Bouquets on Etsy. And um, there are lots of magnets in this album, but this little trifold flap is magnetized, so it comes off goes back on and then um, there are these great little flaps. I used a Martha Stewart punch on the and each flap and uh, this is a balsa wood die cut um, with some journaling cards from the collection just some stickers and a chipboard button from the collection. And the We Are Memory Keepers um, corner chomper, the photo corner chomper. And each page has this pullout that I used pattern paper on one side and um, cardstock on the other side. I used uh, Tim Holtz black soot distress ink to distress all my papers. I created a library pocket on this page using, and I used some Tim Holtz um, Distress the spray inks um, on the library pocket to get this color, a journaling tag, and some seam binding on this little card to create the tag, some chipboard pieces. Then on this page design, Ginger made, um, we, she used the Hidden Hinge by Kathy Orta, I think for most of her mini album tutorials, and she split, split the hinge in half and created like a, a half double page on this um, with two tags that come out. So these are just some stickers from the collection, I used some foam tape to pop up some of the stickers, some Satan Crystals by Prima, some uh, lace from my 
stash, some buttons from the collection, some brads. These brads are just beautiful from the collection, the ones with the metal around them. Some chipboard pieces, a little chipboard banner from the collection, some scrappers, uh, floss, waxed linen floss. Um, I layered some stickers over here. Another chipboard piece, I just created a tuck spot by not gluing it down all the way and added some journaling cards. These journaling cards are really nice. They're double-sided, um, very thick cardstock. And this page, I used another balsa wood piece. I dyed them using the Tim Holtz um, sprays and uh, created this little card from some collection pieces, a frame, um, balsa wood frame, some seam binding, a brad from the collection. This pocket's also a little different. Um, it opens like a flap, but it has a double pocket with each pocket has a tag. And I just added um, some seam binding, punched a hole and added some seam binding to the flap. Some flat back pearls and some buttons from the collection. And then this side has another flap. This little beauty is from Webster's Design some flat back pearls, some stickers from the collection. Another chipboard piece, a button, some seam binding, a chipboard piece, some flat back pearls, some cards from, uh, some journaling cards, and um, on this side, this was a border sticker from the collection, so I added it here at the top of the page and then created a pocket um, and then added it on the pocket on this page. This is a brad from the collection, a chipboard frame from the collection, another brad, some seam binding. And then on in the pocket, I just added this little booklet that I created and added some cutaways to the little booklet and slipped it right inside the pocket. And then on this page, Ginger does this page in her tutorial. I added the same little closure to this page. I wanted it to look like knobs of a door or a window, and it's magnetized, so when you open it, it looks like a little window seam inside. Very sweet. Then on this side, I created a pocket with another little butterfly from Renee's Bouquets. A chipboard piece from the collection and some larger journaling tags also from the collection. So that's my mini album. And Janine, I really hope you enjoy your album. And to all of you, thank you for watching.